<laughs> All right, Brett. Aloha, by the way. Aloha. Uh, so far, is a mat room different in Hawaii than in uh, Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota? Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it's just good here. I mean, everyone's in a good mood, and you know, it's. I like how like everything's outdoorsy. Even like the facilities you got, you know, they're open, and all the windows just go right into the wrestling room and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's nice and breezy here too. But you no, know, it's. It's, it's been a lot of fun so far, so yeah. Big matchup coming up tomorrow. I'm looking forward to yeah. it. You and Taylor Meeks are going to clash. Um, everybody's beat everybody at 184 yeah. thus this point, you know, mm -hmm. December, end of December. Um, is there any doubt in your mind you can't be the guy in March at 184 and, and win the national title? No, that, I mean, that's definitely my goal, and I think that's, you know, almost everyone's goal here in Division One. But, you know, I think all of us top 15 guys are within one point of each other. It's just any given day, you know, showing up, and whoever has the best match will get the best tournament could win that's NCAA, so that's definitely my goal, and I'm training for that right now. Did Coach Robinson have these made especially for Hawaii? Did he have those? Not, did he have those shirts made? Did, well, was, the, these the, are the tanks he sells at uh, his J-Rob Intensive Camp, so, you know, I mean, these are all, he sells these every summer, and I just snagged one from him, so, and these shorts are, uh, these are, from, these are from the thrift shop. Oh, so. man, those are pretty sweet. Yeah. You know, looking at this opportunity, if you're a kid, you know, you're talking to kids who want to come to Minnesota, is this something where you're like, dude, we get to go to Hawaii? Is, yeah. this, is this a great recruiting tool I mean, for coaches? this would definitely be a good selling point. I mean, this is the first time here. I haven't never been to Hawaii before, and, you know, without this tournament, and who knows, it's the first time I'd ever get here. So, I mean, it's a great opportunity just, you know, to rest, compete, and have a little vacation, too. So, it's very nice. Are you and Agam going to work on your tans? Yeah, I think so. We'll go to the beach later and throw some tanning oil on. Uh, looking at, you know, the training, you guys are going to get to train with those other teams. What, you know, you're going to have to wrestle the guys tomorrow and then train with them the next day. What do you want to get out of that training, you personally? Um, I mean, it'll be definitely nice to mix it up with the other 84-pounders, especially because I don't have one with me right now. You know, it's just Schiller and 97, so a little bit heavier, but it'll be nice to get in with Meeks and the other Oklahoma and American guy and just roll around with them and have some fun with it, so... The competition tomorrow, you looking forward to it? That's, that's kind of a neat gym. You it said is. it's open air. I'm looking at it right now. There's like vented windows. It's yeah. not like there's screens or anything. No, no. Have you ever wrestled in an open air facility I in your life? I haven't, no. It's pretty exciting. So I just I just like, I mean, just so, just so relaxed here, just on the island and just the attitudes and everything, I guess. I mean, it'll be fun. You look healthy. You don't look like you're cutting a ton of weight right now. Is, is weight an issue for you at all? No, not, not, not too bad. You know, I was... I'll probably, I was six over this morning, so I had a breakfast, good breakfast, so, I mean, that's not too much for me, especially got to get a whole night, just, I got another workout at four, and then a whole night to kind of drift, so, I'll be, you know, What are you at right now, 90? Uh, probably the 89, 88, after, we just got a That's not bad at all. No. You're real close. Yeah. So after that workout, you're going to be good. Yeah. All right, number one thing on the island to do here in Oahu, what do you want to do? Well, I like, I like going to the beach, I always... Obviously, after college, I'm going to be a beach bum, so I'll probably go to Waikiki Beach or something like that. And, you know, I think on the 31st, after we don't, we have a day off, so we're going to drive around the island and do all kinds of stuff. So I don't really know what's planned. Surfing? But, uh, that would be fun. I don't know if we're going to do that though. But, cliff diving. Dardane said cliff diving. That would be awesome. I'd be down for that. All right, all right, Brett, you got anything else for me? No, that's about it. All right, hey, good luck and mahalo, which is thank you, Coach Agam. Didn't know what that meant, but mahalo. Mahalo.